My name is Mariana Simão. I'm from Brazil. I'm from Rio. And I came here because my brother married an Ecuadorian woman. They started a church here and I, I wanted to come here ever since they started the church to help them out. I got a job in a school, bought my ticket in one month. I sent my resume, did the whole process for the visa and was here. I miss my friends a lot. I had a very tight knit group of friends. Um, I'm not saying that like, I love Ecuador and I, I love being here, mm. but I do miss my friends and miss my family. I was still living with my parents and I saw them every day. So that is something I miss. I miss my mom's cooking regardless of what she was cooking. The one I don't get to miss because I'm making almost every week here mm -hmm. is Brigadeiro. Mm -hmm. And it's basically something every single Brazilian person has to know how to do because we just can't live without it. There are no birthdays without it. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have a picture of my grandma's birthday and it's like platters and platters of Brigadeiro all over the table. And you know it's a Brazilian birthday because there are missing brigadeiros on the platters. So you know it's a real Brazilian birthday because people can't wait until we sing happy birthday. It is made out of condensed milk, chocolate powder, or you can use a chocolate bar, and some butter just so it like doesn't stick to the pan. And traditionally, you roll it on like little balls and you roll it on sprinkles and you put it like on a platter and that's how it's served on birthdays. Normally, the way you eat it is you just put it on a plate and you scoop it up and eat it. So you first put the condensed milk. So I'm gonna start talking about a little about the myth behind the creation of Brigadeiro. Yeah, Apparently, the way it was created was because this woman was in love with a guy from the Air Force in Brazil. And the highest position on the Air Force is called Brigadeiro. So she invented the suite and named it after him to impress him. We don't know if it's true, if they were ever together. All I know is that this is the story that is told. Then you just put the chocolate and not much, just butter stirring until it's like very every chocolate is like dissolved into the condensed milk and you mix it until it starts uh, until it's not attached to the bottom of the pan anymore the butter helps do it but if you don't have butter you don't need it if you're going to hang out with friends and you want to like you're all sharing food. So everybody's bringing something. We'll make popcorn and brigadeiro. Basically, like, this is it. This is the point. When it starts unattaching from the bottom and it just gets this really thick consistency. You, some people prefer it cold. Some people like it hot, just the way it is fresh out of the pan. Depends on, on personal preference. Every time I make it, I'm really eager to eat it, so I don't really wait for it to go down. I see. 